Frank. Sorry. What is happening, everybody? This is Cody, aka DFS Prodigy, coming to you live, breaking out this upcoming DraftKings sits game slate for NBA tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Saturday. Before we begin, hello, everyone, for me, definitely subscribe. We're here talking the NBA slate. We have Luca on this slate, so you know how this is going to go. But we're here breaking this down. Um, we also have NFL tomorrow, which I'm excited about. So definitely check out that video and article. I'm going to probably post that on Twitter tomorrow or later on tonight, but it's up and live. So definitely check that out in the links below. But always like button for me. Definitely subscribe. We're so close to 600 subscribers. So let's make that push. Let's get three more. Um, let's break this slide down for Boston at Charlotte. On the Boston side, Jalen Brown. So he's not going to play in this uh, game. So I'm really liking Jason Tatum. Marcus Smart, 5'9". I don't mind going to him either. He's a cheap price tag in the mid-range. Malcolm Broaden being questionable is also kind of big news. Got will bump up Derek White a little bit. And then Grant Williams looks good at 4'3". Um, he's just a defensive stun. I remember when they called him Batman in the playoffs. Um, Pritchard's kind of someone I might look at for value, but again, just depends on what other value we get. I'm coughing. I don't know why. Um, The bigs. I mean, it's a good matchup. It's just a toss-up between who you want to go to. I'd rather go to Robert Williams, though, just based on the upside. On the Charlotte side, no Kelly Oubre. Obviously, he's out for a while. Gordon Hayward, he's always questionable. He's I don't I don't think he plays. Um, he's just a show himself. I know it's a ruined narrative, but still, Lamel Ball. He's a good run back option if you want to look at him at nine seven. Terry Rozier. He's playing with Lamel's now. Um, when he played in Lamel's, he looked good. So I don't mind going to him. Um, he's kind of a contrarian option at seven three. Plumley looks okay at six two. Um, it's just the matchup is not in his favor, but I, I don't mind that game. Memphis and Indiana on the Memphis side, John Morant, 10-3, looks amazing. I love his upside. Jaron Jackson and the smash matchup for him at 7-5. Devin Bain, 6-8, kind of contrarian option. And the rest of the team I'm not really kind of looking at. I don't really mind the injuries. On the Indiana side, though, this is where it gets interesting. So there's no Tyrese Halberton. There's no D. Smith. The Miles Turner, um, if he's ruled out again, we could look at Isaiah Jackson. He kind of went off this late. Um, I played TJ McCollum and I played um I played Nimhard and I played Buddy Hill or I played sorry, TJ McCollum. I played Buddy Heald and I played Nimhard. So I don't mind going to that little stack again. Um I'm hoping the late slate for tonight <laughs> gets me through with the Clippers in Denver, but we'll see. Um we'll see how that goes. But I like this all this team still. I like TJ McConnell, I like Nimhard, I like um Buddy Hill, I like Matherin, I like this team a ton in a fast paced matchup. Atlanta and Toronto, Atlanta side, Trey Young and Jonathan Murray. I'd much rather just go to Jonathan Murray for a cheaper price tag. John Collins, it's okay at 6'6". Six, six. I'm surprised how close that game was also with Indiana based on everybody being healthy on this team. It's kind of crazy. Um, on the Toronto side, nothing really stands out to me. Siakam, I'd rather go to Luka or Joel Embiid. Um, Fan Fleet, I'm not really getting to a Siakam healthy. Scotty Barnes is meh. OG and Anobi is meh. Gary Trent, I mean, he's very scoring dependent. I'm not really getting a lot. On the Cleveland and Minnesota game, everybody's healthy on the Cleveland side. I mean, Donovan Mitchell, 9-6. If he gets you 70, he'll pay off that price tag. But if he doesn't, I'm not really it's wanting 30 or 40 out of him. Um, Darius Garland, he seems to be in and out of games. He's just there for me. All it takes is one eye poke for him to be out of the game. And then Evan Mobley, you're not really looking at. Jaron Allen, uh, with the illness, I'm kind of going back and forth on. It's not a lot I'll want. Minnesota, kind of a similar story. Rudy Gobert, 7-4, I'm not really liking him in this matchup. D'Lo, I mean, there's the, the, the talks about him are wild right now. I mean, he's thinking he's possibly being traded. I mean, he said he's either going to be – or I, for, I forgot the quote that was going to be. Um, something about how he'll hurt his own team. I mean, hold on. So, I remember, I remember that quote. What was that quote? D'Angelo Russell trade. Where is that quote? Because I remember seeing, yeah, it's my life or whatever. Um, yeah, you either take advantage of me or my ability or F up the opportunity with me. So it's as simple as that. So that quote's kind of interesting. Um, sorry, it took me a minute, but I don't know. I'm not really on him. And then Philly and Utah on the Philly side, Joel Embiid looks so great. 11,000 with no Kelly Olenek. I believe Kelly Olenek is out. Yeah. So Joel Embiid looks great. James Harden. Tim won. I mean, he's been looking good, but I'm much rather just go to Joel. Um, Tarius Maxey's meh. 
Tobias Harris is questionable. If he's out, I could see Niang's a little bit more minutes at 3-3, which that will be a value. On the Utah side, Mike Conley is out, I believe. He's out for the Friday game. So if he's out again, I'm going to go to um, – Colin Sexton because his limit, but his limit, his minutes are limited, so where he should be a bump of a minute up to this game. NAW started. Uh, if he starts again, I don't mind him at three one. I don't mind Blake Beasley, Walker Custer. looks okay at four seven, but it is against Joel Embiid, so keep that in mind. Oh, and Laurie Market, I'm not paying nine four. No, and the Dallas of Portland for the late night hammer. This is the game I might target. Um, I love Luca here. Christian Wood is questionable. Also, if he's out, um, nobody really is going to step up. Reggie Bullock at three three looks okay. Um. As long as he hits his, hits his shot, um, Spencer Dame looks okay at six seven. Hardaway looks okay at five seven. Um, Dame Lillard is questionable. So if he's out, uh, Simons, Nurkic, Grant, Hart all look good. I love this. Like I said, I, I'm really liking this line I hammer. So keep that in mind. If Dame's in. I'm gonna go to Dame. I'm gonna go to Luca, and that's gonna be my kind of my two man stud stack. Um. But we don't have a lot of studs. I know it looks like we do, but I mean, Joel Embiid, Jason Tatum, Luke are kind of my main ones. Um, that's, I know it's obvious because they're the obvious spin-ups, but again, Jason Tatum with no Jalen Brown, Joel Embiid in a smash matchup, Luke Doncic, and it's him, <laughs> Shell, it just is himself. I mean, the value that we're going to get is on the Indiana game. We're going to get some value in Dallas. We might get value in Portland. And then Boston looks good, and I don't mind running it back a little bit of Charlotte. But this is going to be an interesting six-game slate. We have this football also, so everybody's going to be flocking to the NFL contest, so is going to be wide open. But I can't wait. So, again, thank you for tuning in. It was a great safe rest of the night. Have a good one, everybody.